All right, welcome back. We are here at uh, Winding Rivulet 107-100. Before I forget, uh, let me just mention that uh, thanks to King Eel, who through our in-game chat group recommended this spot. The, the spot was specifically recommended to someone because of um, it being a decent white bream spot, but we're more kind of trying to get a general sense of how good the place is. So we're gonna make some ground bait here that I think will be pretty good for Chubb based on what we have access to at the moment. And so let's go ahead and put that in there. It's probably this stuff, right? Yeah. And we've got a little larger hook size eight and this line specifically with maggots we're really trying to see <clears throat> how active the chub are during the day and then we will rotate into nighttime fishing specifically for the white bream I'm gonna go up to a size 14 hook right now we're just using worms on the other two with um, I guess just roach mix for now. My guess is this late in the day, it's almost noon, the white bream quality isn't going to be very good, so we'll wait and target white bream once it gets nighttime again. So at least on the worm, my guess is we're going to catch a lot of uh, roach here during the day. But we'll see. It might be worth seeing how good red worms are in this spot as well. We are still catching white bream, but again, I just... I suspect they're going to be better at night. alone so that we have time to catch fish okay let's just level up ground bait here um, so we're just making a cracker base ground bait as long as we're getting points for it, we'll keep making it. Very cheap and a very good way to, uh, to level it up. All right, that's all we have. All right, so first fish on the maggots with the larger hook is a roach. Chub comes in on worm. Just re 
reset that one. I'm going to cast this one a little farther over. I'm surprised that, you know, that chub came in on the worm and we're 0 for 2 landing them on the maggots now. Should be a pretty decent roach here. And this appears to be another one of those spots where it's going to have a pretty decent bite rate. <clears throat> Give us a chance to level up our bottom fishing. As well as catch some decent fish. So we're at 28 point. Finally a fish on this middle line. Still catching a little white bream here. Interesting. So, what are we at on uh, harvesting baits? 28.7. <clears throat> and we are here, so we can use a little bit of silver to get wheat grain. Once we get to maybe 29.5, we'll try to finish it off with some wheat grain. We don't want too much wheat grain, but a little bit of it's good. It's just expensive to make and not always that useful. <clears throat> but we'll be at Semolina soon. We do have the lightest tip installed, right? It's interesting how weird the way it's hanging it down like that. Wait, what are we asking? Rough spot on er old berg. Hmm. No idea on rough at old berg. A deep spot with tiny hook. Worms. You'll know if they are there pretty quick. All right, there's a little chub. So, so far it seems like, now the chub could get better in the evenings, not all night necessarily, but in sort of the evening, late evening, maybe very early, early, early morning, they could get a little bigger. Congrats to Simpon hitting level 21. We are using basic bottom still on the first and third rod, but just to keep it a little bit, mix, you know, mix it up a little bit to see if it helps us level it faster, we do have pattern oster on the second rod. Um, basically, just 
looking forward to the day that we get inline opened up. Also looking forward to getting um, classic hair rig opened up because that just allows us to try some fun experiments at, uh, especially at Mosquito and Old Berg with some of the boilies. Uh, like someone in, you know, last yesterday was talking about trying to target hide with boilies at Mosquito. Like that's just sounds super fun, you know. So we're gonna keep maggots on at least for the first part of the night with the big hook on this first line just to see what happens with the chub. But we will switch to tiny hooks and probably worms. And we'll start off with one worms, one red worm to get a feel for this spot at night. Cause we're, we're still catching even like small marker white bream during the day here. This might just be a pretty decent white bream spot. ever have a roach order this seems to be a great spot for roach yeah there's a fish on there the game's just not recognizing it yet I'm not even sure if I've caught a Trophy River Muscle in my main account. I mean, maybe. I just, I don't even remember. I have no idea. We're about to be second place on the U.S. weeklies. Check and see if they have grass, grasshoppers here. Uh, actually, sometimes grasshoppers does a really good job of targeting chub. Magnum makes a good point. <clears throat> he was watching the last video where we were talking about whether or not to get that coffee thing. And he's saying each time you craft a coffee, you're getting 10 uses out of it. So it would actually be 100 crafts for that pack of 10 coffees. So even though it looks like it's a lot of silver, it goes a long way. Yeah, 
It definitely seems like Chubb are here. Really not that far from town to out here. If you do a straight line, I just want to check their grasshopper stock real quick. I'm curious. But again, we can't really go for Chubb on more than one of our lines uh, safely. Which it is, we are getting to that point where upgrading our gear is going to start making sense soon. Especially our two small rigs. Three hundred of them. That's disappointing. We can try mosquito next time we're there, but it may be that they might be in stock at like Oldberg, which technically we can go to Oldberg now. If we build up a little bit of silver, it might be worth traveling there, hitting a spot or two, uh, and checking their inventory for things like grasshoppers and leaders stuff that we haven't been able to get at the starter lakes. I don't think I want 300 grasshoppers unless we're going to really target Chubb for a long time. There's a white bream. Okay. So this is 16. Let's keep this. Let's keep 16 on. And there's a white bream as well. Um, let's go down to like 19 on this one. Oh, we were going to try red worm on one, weren't we? Let's put red worm on the third one, though. And we'll keep maggots going. And we may quickly realize it's not worth having maggots on at night <coughs> if the chub aren't spectacular. So then we'll have another one. Uh, th is this another river mussel or something? This is the, or maybe it's a chub. I, I don't, I don't know. It's just like swimming back and forth in the same spot. It's a chub.
still not seeing the uh, the value of maggots yet. All right, let's try red worms. I think we've got a fish on this one, right? No, not yet. Alright, let's just see what red worm seems like. You know, maybe a little early. We might should wait. We'll see how fast we get a bite on red worm, but we might and put those on put wait and put red worms on once the uh, white bream are really killing it. Maggots is just catching so many roach. Some nice roach, though. Wow. That looks like a chub, right? The way it took off. more red worms. Nope. Should always start with the tea because you'll get full after you eat the food. All right, first fish on red worms. Okay, now things are getting weird. Going back to worms till it's overnight hours. It's a nice spot. It's a very fun spot because there's just so much variety. And and we've really only used there some red worm. We've only used pretty limited bait so far. We're already catching such a variety.
Alright, there go the rough. This is probably the only line that we have rough size hook. But I kind of want to see how good the white bream end up being on a little bit larger than tiny hook. Alright, it's late enough now we can put red worms back on that third line. All right, we're gonna go back to red worm now. Ooh, look at that rough. Try red worm again for a little bit. Now that it's overnight. I'm not going to give the maggots much longer.
forget Chubb are such sensitive biters sometimes. Crayfish again. Crayfish on red worm here. So if you're high level and can turn that into bait, it's interesting. Is a uh, small rough on a large hook. Definitely chub here. Almost out of that severe weather warning. 745, I guess. Yeah, they're here. I'm just not sure the chub seemed great. So let's go to worms. And let's put the feeder leader back on.
We put on a tiny hook and then we put worms on and then we catch the largest chub of the day. Whoa. There we go. And that was on red worm. Big rough orders back at, uh, at Mosquito. Yeah, the big white bream order is still hard to do at Mosquito for me at least. To get six over 550. see here is that a yeah all right so it's the ones that have 20 yeah oops so we want to select that excuse me we want to select that one that one that one that one that one and delete them those were just uh, ground cracker recipes that just we made to simply level up <clears throat> bait harvesting. I mean, uh, ground bait. There are so many river mussels here. If you need river mussel or crayfish bait, you could do a lot worse. Look at this. Strange. Need to remember to get wheat grain before we leave here. So it sounds like there's a really nice rough order at Mosquito. And if we get lucky, maybe the second rough order will pop. And then that's like pretty much 90 silver, pretty easy. It's very good at this level to, to work towards gear. And we've caught 61 fish here. I think there's an order or two that we might be eligible for. I don't know, we'll see. But this does seem like a good spot. That weird river muscle trophy. But I think people are catching rough trophies here. We have that river muscle trophy. Lots of decent sized roach. Some nice white bream. I think worm's been steadier bite than, than red worm, but red worm had the biggest white bream so far. I think 
the bite the bite rate is what really stands out about this spot though i'll be right back Now we're catching crayfish on, on worm too. We've caught so many crayfish on red worm that I'm not sure that it feels like red worm's even worth having. I might just go worm straight across unless we find something. Uh, unless we find something else to target the white bream on, but I mean, should we try sweet dough here? I don't think it'll catch catch him here. I don't think bread would be as good in this spot. I think, I mean, you might still catch the roach, but I mean, having no problem catching ro roach on worms, so. Oh, catch fish with 10 different baits. 
Hey, what was that we just caught on the sweet? Oh, it was a white bream. Okay. Well, it might be worth trying white bream uh, sweet dough here during the night for white bream. They actually did uh, go for that. So that achievement we got was catch fish on 10 different unique baits. So I guess catching a fish on sweet dough pushed us over the edge there. So how long have we been fishing here? 47 minutes and we have 70 fish. That's a nice bite rate. It's another fun spot that we can rotate as we're trying to grind away on silver and being able to afford to level up bait crafting and all that ground bait. So we have two points now. We could just finish feeder rod. I don't think I'm gonna put points in simple bottom rig or pattern aster. Not yet at least, because I really wanna save it. I think we're gonna end up using inline a lot. We'll see though if I can be that patient. I think we stay here just a little bit longer. It's still pretty early in the morning. Get some good bites going still. Probably a roach. Another nice white. You know, I think there's a white bream order, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get it because I think it was big ones. Even if it's 300, we only have three of them, and I think it requires more than that. Thank you, love. That's all right. Oh, you don't let me try one? Is that white cheddar? Thank you. I'd have to be pretty hungry. It's weird though, because the other two flavors are so good.
it is fun having this dynamic and um, active a uh, place at winding. Mm-mm. Look at that. So that's a really easy rough order. That gudgeon order would be pretty easy. Uh, nice river muscle order without using the trophy. That bleak order is always fun. Five from 300. So if we'd stayed, that's actually going to be a tough choice. Do we try to finish that? We just need two more 35 silver. That rough order will probably hold. So maybe I will do that. All right, and we also got 127 more silver. This this spot is actually really... So the crayfish are worth way more than the river mussels, like your average crayfish. I didn't realize that. Um, the chub, the white bream. Yeah, that is really nice. 
So again, that'll end up being 127 silver. We need to grab some wheat grain. I might try to finish that uh, white, not, not feed. I might try to finish that, I uh, oh, forget how expensive wheat grain is. How much wheat grain do we want to make? Maybe just two. So we'll get there with, um, we'll get there with sweet dough shoveling and then wheat grain. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm probably going to roll this into just another episode here pretty soon because um, either finishing here. Also, it sounds like there's good orders of mosquito, but uh, I will catch you a little later. Thank you.